all set up and uh, it's partially organised. Anyway, let's have a quick look at what I've got. Okay, so obviously the last time you've seen us, I was in a canvas bed that I made. And there it is again. But this time I've got the, the British Army bivy bag. It is huge. I can't, I can't remember how big this was, like, but it's absolutely massive. So inside there, I've got the Snug, Snug Pack Special Forces 2 sleeping bag, which is, it, it's a uh, four season sleeping bag. Obviously it's got the top zip, so it's easier to climb in and out. Obviously this hasn't got no zip on the top. It's a solid bit, but I'm, I am thinking about getting a zip put down in this little seam here. Um, because it, it is a nice a nice uh, bivy bag like and before people see it it won't knock the integrity of it yeah if you get it done professionally um it's all proper sealed and everything just the same as what they do with the snug pack special forces ones okay so that's me set up and anyway for the sleeping bag then i'm doing the um the flex tail gear um pillow again absolutely lovely and comfy that nice soft 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 and underneath there I've got my Nemo Tensor regular mummy okay and then underneath there I've got the mat just for extra insulation and things <coughs> just laid out at the moment I've got me my very old <laughs> regatta great, out, <laughs> great outdoors top from Go Outdoors I've had this for a good 20 odd year now it's got loads of little holes in it uh, but it's you know it is what's tight um being used and tested it and it keeps the warmth in i've got my buffalo jack in there electrics i've got this it's a a camping lantern stroke emergency um radio it's got all sorts on it i'll have a quick look at it um humming and hawing about it like but you know what i mean so and obviously the traditional drinks as you can see everything comes in plastic bags just to stop anything leaking uh, it's the best way to do it everyone you know to get yourself some sandwich bags if you've got these little bottles fits free and perfect and then all i've done is out of the british army ration pack the um, the bag that holds all the coffees and things i just use that for putting me free cans of pop in and if, if they burst then they're just going to go in the bag then sometimes i do put them actually inside of a um, stuff sack as well here is me food stuff like for cooking and things frying pan bits and pieces okay and then underneath just in case i need them i've got me um <laughs> very very worn dd magic carpet that gets used for carrying fetching bits lots of wood and covering wood and everything my ground sheet for later on pea bottle fire kit some water and then obviously me tools the new axe from uh, beaver craft we'll have a better look at this later on i brought out the smaller shovel this time and me um Oreo saw cap and a little radio at the back end there i've got absolutely tons of room so i've got me me jj's commander's web in there and me kit pimp pathfinder bergen all sat there obviously i've got a lot of other things inside of there for later on okay but it's nice to have that bit of storage room so it just gets all your bulky stuff out of the way and then i've got the the lantern out i, I love this like it, it's bluetooth music got some great lighting on it as well um so we'll be listening to that later on obviously hanging up on the top i've got my head torch and my lantern and then i've got my tea towel and then my table and chair a couple of knives power pack and that's it really the wood underneath there is absolutely saturated so I'm going to get myself grafting, get some bits of uh, dead standing. There's absolutely tons around Char Lake and uh, get some wood processed ready for tonight. And like I say, Rooney's got a curry to cook, a nice Chinese curry. Mouse watering already. <laughs> Haven't got a clue what time it is. Haven't looked at my watch and I'm not going to. Okay, all I know is it's still light and it's reasonably warm and it's dry. So everything's going well so far. Rooney's just about set up with his hammock. So we'll just let him plod on. All right. And uh, I'm sure Laughing Boy will be on the camera soon. All right. <laughs> See you later. Right, me and Rooney are finally set up. Um, I'll go and take you around Rooney's set up later on. 
we've just went and made um, some, what are they, Rooney? Well, obviously they're mushrooms. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I've got a bit of chilli there. Obviously they've got chilli in. They've got some mixed Indian spices and garlic. Mm. And that was just like a starter nice. before we have our curry. I've been getting some wood off camera. Um, I've just got it all leaning up against the fallen tree at the minute just to keep it off the ground. It's all uh, dead standing. Basically, I just went around and pushed them. I think I had to cut one of them. So we'll get all that prepped. Probably do a little bit of a time lapse for that. But uh, I'm just having a, a, a can of coke at the moment. I just felt like having a, a can of coke. So I'm breaking into me, me, um, me rations like. Do it just means one? I'll have two really strong Jack Daniels later on. <laughs> or I could have a current plan. <laughs> right. They're different, aren't they? Mm. Right. Definitely different, mate. I think um, a bit of rice, chicken, onions. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's actually mushrooms in there. No, no. I'm only going to be with the group. But yeah. Right, it's good to have Rooney back out. It's been a while. Um, yep, indeed. Oh. We're just going to have a, a nice chill night. We've got nice blue skies up above it, above the tree kind of people in here. It's a bit wet and dull, but it's looking like a nice a nice evening it's going to be. So what time we've got now? Well, it's 25 to 5 already. So we're going to finish these off. I'm going to sit and have a little chat. I'm going to have a look at my new little toy that I've got, which is this. It's an emergency radio that I've been sent by a company. I haven't even looked at the instructions. I do not know how to work it, but I'm sure when I sit and get my gla glasses out, I think I've brought glasses. Um, if not, Rooney can have a look. And we'll try and work out how it goes, and I'll have a little talk about it later on. It's not mega heavy, but it's not, not light either. It's got lights on, solar panels, it's got a a windy handle on it, the lights down the bottom there. Um, it's got, um, I was mucking around with it in the house and I was pressing all the buttons and this alarm goes off in it. I hope I don't do it in here because it'll give my position away because it was that loud and it has red and white and blue flashing lights going on at the same time. My next door neighbours must have been thinking I was getting burgled or something because it was bloody loud. Well, I can safely say that we're not going to get tapped by any vampires the night because no. garlic in oh, there. It is, <laughs> it's garlic. It's a garlic heaven. If you like garlic, mm. yes, it's very, very garlicky. You've had two. No, I had two. Of two Did you? Well, that's right, man. I always eat more than you. <laughs> yeah, that's well, right. I, so I'm, I'm looking forward to um, having another one of Rooney's Chinese curries the night. And a few beers and relaxing in front of some nice in front of a nice fire and some tunes, mm -hmm. and we'll bring you along for it. We'll see you later. Right, well, as you've seen, me and Rooney have just been sitting chilling for a bit. I'll quickly before it gets too dark, I'll take you over. I'll put some lights on, like, but I'll take you over and show you Rooney's setup. So Rooney's in the one wind hammock and the one wind under blanket is it yes that's right now obviously as you can see it's a little bit dark under here he's got the 3.5 by 3.5 dd tarp as well i think i might have to get one of these like because they're massive but then again i've got the four four by three in green so i might hold out on that but uh yeah let's have a quick look at his little setup he's just been rushing over to tidy up but as you can see because he's pulled the sides out he's got the bags of room in here but I, I like the uh, the midgy nets, nice and long, isn't it? Yeah. I, I think I might have to um, purchase one of these. Like, Just let's ha let's have a look and see what he's got hidden in here. What's the sleeping bag, Rooney? It's a DD one because it's got the zip up the up the middle. Yeah. Oh right, aye. So it's it's, it's slim, it's slight with the temperature. Aye. So. And I, but you can just put your jacket on, can't you? Oh, it's got a proper decent foot box on it now. It's like a tucking one, so you could technically stand up on it. Aye, you know, right. To but yeah, the, the under blanket's quite quite good and all, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a clip so you can clip it together and make it sort of like over the top of you like that, is it? I don't know, you might be able to. We'll Let's have a look and see. Yes, it is, mate. So you could basically make this into a cocoon 
And I'll put my fat carcass in my inside. Aye, oh aye, look, looking at how narrow it can. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll fit in there, like, but oh, fat, boy, no. fat Boy Slim over there wouldn't. But I definitely like that midgy net. I think that might work with my... Uh, the solemn individual. DD, well. D, D, like. But I'm not in a bad setup up yet. Not a bad setup. Yeah. But uh, me, and, me, and, me and Rooney are going to do some wood prep now. I've, I've got, I've collected it all. Like we've just got to cut it and snap it up and get some twigs, and we're, and we're going to have an early tea. I say early, like it'll still be about nine o'clock by the time we get our horses in gear, and then we're going to sit back, relax, and have a nice drink. Yep, indeed. So, but I, um, anybody follows us on uh, Facebook, and it's part of me Facebook group. Um, you will know that it's um, Rooney's birthday this week. So I've just given me his card now off camera like <laughs> but we've hung it up and here it is. So obviously I'll turn turn one of my lights out. So it says there uh, the moment when you realise it wasn't a fault. <laughs> yeah that, oh that's better isn't it? So I I, I bought my little present out. So I bought him a bottle of Jack Daniels fire. And a nice big bottle of coke, so we're gonna gonna have a, a few sherbets tonight, and uh, we're gonna do some do some cooking. Well, Rooney's gonna do some cooking. So anyway, fire firewood for tonight. As you can see, I've got all these. These were all dead stand. As you can see, they're rotten on the bottoms, uh, but it's nice and dry. We'll get them cut up, and hopefully we should have enough firewood for the night. Probably need to get a bit more, I reckon, like, but I always get too much. But anyway. Enough waffling. Next time you see me, I'll be running around like a headless chicken cutting wood. It's got to be a time lapse coming. See you in a bit. Right, well, as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit dark now. It's uh, 10 to 6. Me and Rooney are going to get the fire going. Um, so, as you see, I always use the, the, the twisty um, wax things, balls. That's them here. I'll do a close-up shot for you, just so you can see. They cost about £3 for a packet if, you, if you're not into doing all your bush crappy stuff. Okay, you can get them from loads of different shops. All right. Um, now, if you... If you if you if you're a shopper in like say like Asda and things like that, sometimes they have a load of these left over when they're, they're no longer selling like uh, firewood and things, and they normally lock it down to 50 pence a packet. Hence why I have got tons of them because I went and bought about 30 bags of them when they had them down to 12, 50 pence. And you never give me any. I did. I give them one packet. And anyway, I've got a few of these here because the wood's wet, so I'm going to give myself a real good fighting chance like I did the last time. Obviously it was nice and dry, but this time it's absolutely soaking. Like I say, we've just had that new storm come over. I can't remember the name of it. It's a weird Babek. name. What's it called? Babek. Babek. What the hell's Babek like? Eh? Oh, when it gets bobbed, it fits. Oh, is it right? When it and then it Rooney's picked up, being snapping some twigs off the trees, but obviously they're soaking wet on the outside, but they're nice and dry on the inside. And uh, it's going to be quite smoky, I think. Anyway, get the lighter on. And just move that around a bit. That's it. Lighter on there. I'm going to get a... Jeez, that's a lovely fire. Isn't it? It's spiffing out, chap. I'm going to get a couple of these on first, just to make it so it's really, like the wood I put on is going to be off the actual bits. See if it gans. As you can see, the smoke is going to blow out, and hopefully, this all catches. Like, got some more twigs there, and crisscross them over the other way, and that's it, really. Fingers crossed, we get this fire going. Like, I think it's going to be hard work. Now, what I could have done is, if I wanted loads more time, I could have took really loads of time prepping wood properly. 
getting all the, 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 the thicker bits that I've cut, stripping them all down, splitting them all down, making splinters and things like that, obviously, you know, but Rooney being in a rush that he is, you can't see us because of the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering whether you were going to pick up on that. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, this, oh, the smoke's moving now. But anyway, because Rooney's in such a rush to get some food down his neck, because he's hungry, um, we're getting the fire going straight away. Yes, I'm actually hungry. Ah, that's a smoky jaw, that like. But anyway, I'm not going to bore you with 20 minutes of watching the flames try to raise through the, the, the dampness. I'll just bring you back when we're um, sitting and we're pouring my first drink and the fire's going. All right? Season Boy. a bit. Right, well, I must admit that fire was a struggle. I had to get um, another two of Rooney's fire doofers out and uh, concentrate on one area to get the get the wood lit and then spread the fire out. As you can see in the bottom of the screen, the fire's going a treat now. So we're going to have to really keep an eye on it and keep the wood going on it, keep the flames going um, to dry the wood out. I've got some wood next to the fire drying out as well. But anyway, Rooney, one Jack Daniels fire mate. Bad for your pipes oh. and stuff like. <laughs> and obviously, um, if you've skipped a bit of the video, I've brought a bottle out as well because we're celebrating Rooney's birthday. So Rooney's going to join the, the Jack Daniels gang. Oh, how about joining the gangs? So I normally just put a can of Coke in, but I, I've brought this uh, bottle of Coke out as well. I've got a couple of cans if you I need them. Right, just going on about celebrating, right? You see, and I brought it out to celebrate. No, this is my birthday gift, so after I've drank his, I'll put mine in my bag for another time. <laughs> well, that's, I, I've that's all right. I, I can go without, can you? <laughs> Are you pulled your, um, I'll let you pull your own coke in, mate, because then uh, obviously you can make it to your strength. So that's about. Well, you being a cop would know how much cock to put in. All right, well, I'll put that in there. <laughs> see it? That's enough. I mean, Taste it, man, and see if it's too strong for you, because he's a bit of a wimp when it comes to drinking GDs. Drink, drinking any spirits, I'm a uh, wimp. He forgot a cup and all, so he's drinking out of his stove from Fire Maple. Oh, oh, oh. Is that strong? Do you want a bit more coke, mate? Just a tad. I'm trying to think what that reminds me of, the taste. It's lovely. And anyway, Jack Daniels Fire, it's like a bourbon. It's the red labelled one. Cheers, everybody. Reminds me of heartburn in a glass. <laughs> Cheers, Rooney. Cheers, Big oh, That's lovely, that, like. That's, as I always say, I'm the nectar of the gods. You can taste the waski in it. Oh, it's, yeah, it's lovely. Right, well, as you can see by the time lapses, let's sort it again. Three, two, one. Turn your red light off, mate. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I was just pretending I was like. No, oh. no, I'm going to start now. Three, two, one. Well, I was just trying to see it. All right. I was three, two, me red... three, two, one. I was just trying to see it with my red light on. I was trying to be a forest prostitute, you know what I mean? <laughs> so there could be some like. <laughs> <laughs> Local foresters walking through the woods. I'll we'll leave all the three, two, ones in it in there. <laughs> but anyway, me and Rooney have now dusted in that bottle of Jack Daniels and the three uh, bottles that I brought out. So we're having a really, really good night. Like. Yeah. So and basically, I'll be able to stick them to me window of me car and you'll be able to suck it for life sort of thing, you know what I mean? I'll use them as a squeegee, just move anyway, his head around. Anyway, before he starts to go off on another shake, because he normally does, we're going to eat this amazing curry that Rooney's cooked and I've been like stirring and things like that um, as you've seen on the time lapse. I've prepared it, Jimmy's cooked it. Rooney's preparing this is amazing because um, the flavours are just unbelievable and obviously yous won't be able to see that but I can because I taste it and I love Rooney's cooking, he's amazing. Happy birthday in there mate. I'd like to say I, a I, happy I'm birthday I'm to you. 
Happy, bir and, um, happy birthday to you. Kick happy us in the face with the ball of stew. You look like a motherfucker. And I stink like spew. Like <laughs> shit a good uh, dog. I hope he shits a fucking hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. Sorry yes. for swearing everybody, but I'm... If you can zoom in I'm, on the I'm a, I'm a little bit good. tipsy. Well, I'm not tipsy, like, I'm actually yes. drunk. Maybe we're going to get some food set up. Yeah. And then we're going to do a taste test. See what so tastes alright. I'll see you in a second. I'm sure what? it will be, because it's... Bloody smells gorgeous. So we're having a, a chicken and beef Chinese curry with an assortment of crunchy peppers and onions mm. on a bed of rice. Does not sound very professional. I it just does. hope it doesn't taste like shit. It doesn't like... <laughs> I've just had an onion on its own there out of my frying pan and it's uh, tremendous. Anyway, let's get served up and let's see what's going on. We'll bring you back with a hairy crack in a moment, if you won't moment it. Know what I mean? I, I, I'm a port that didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave all this in, you know. <laughs> so anyway, wait. Mm. I hope you enjoy the crack. We'll bring you back in a bit. In a hairy sack. <laughs> <laughs> For a whack attack. <laughs> with a bludgeon of nudging. <laughs> on a wudgeon of tudgeon. With a fiery jack. There's not much <laughs> left in there, but I'm sure I'll sort it out. <laughs> and then we'll be drinking uh, some brown ale that the Benz went and bought Rooney for his birthday. Yes. And then we'll be drinking whatever else Rooney's brought, because I've yeah. got no else. Yeah. Happy days. Food. Let's go. As you can see, Rooney's got his food. I've got my food. Yeah. It smells nice. I'm just going to just mix it all in with my rice and everything. Fly glass. So, really, what we've got, we got in the bowls, mate? So, we've got chicken and beef with um, onions, peppers, chilies, and onions. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Like. So, it's like, uh, well, I haven't tasted it yet, so I don't know if it is. Oh. I'll tell you what, you can buy this in the... Um, in the in a restaurant, it's bloody lovely. It is quite nice, yeah. actually, isn't it? Oh, the chili's a bit George Michael, a bit warm. I tell you what, I think I've done an absolutely splen so splendid job at cooking this. You have, mate. And uh, we only done all the prepping, and I've done all the cooking. Uh huh. Really? Happy yeah. birthday, mate. I love you. Thank you're you me, very much. You're my best pal. And to all yous out there that want to wish you a happy birthday, go and shit a hedgehog. <laughs> he doesn't really mean that. It's just his banter. But I'll tell you what, his food is absolutely tremendous. <laughs> I think I'll have to uh, try getting involved in this. Dregs are not like I'll get that bit. Ooh.
Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What you really want you to do? You have nose. Yeah. You you're pissing the blood, mate. I'm pissing the blood. Where? On your face. Why? Oh, here yeah, me, me cans now. Thing it. Anyway, right. happy birthday, Rooney. Um, I'm pissing the blood. Rooney, you've got loads of blood on your nose. All the way, mate. Oh, I'm pissing my nose, like. Ah, oh, you've, you've smashed your face open. Is it bad? <laughs> <laughs> you've got, you got blood all over your head and everything. I'm trying to give you a birthday cake. <laughs> know what I mean? What a fucking wanker, isn't he? Eh? Oh, just look. Fucking piss yourself. I went and bought my birthday cake. I put four candles on, right? Fucking nuts. Only, fucking only, nuts. Only one of them would bloody light. Fucking nuts. These, these, these uh, things that you buy from Asda, right? That sparkle, when you put them on flames, are shit. But right. they'll probably sparkle when they go on the fire now. Maybe it runny. Happy, oh. happy birthday, mate. Right, I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what, I'm going to grab a hold of that off you, because you're, you're a twat. You know what it is? You, you you, you've Jack Daniel me the night, right? <laughs> right, Small look. Like Rooney, here's your half. My quarter, <laughs> you mean? <laughs> your quarter. My quarter. I'm, I'm going to have half. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to eat three quarters, you mean? <laughs> oh, that's too much for me. You know, what? obviously, me being a slimmer guy, you know what? It's like, I just fancy, like, getting into all this exercise, you know what I mean? Really? There you go. All right. Happy, happy birthday, mate. What is this called? A jam tart or something? No, it's a fucking birthday cake, man. Right. Okay. I'm going to have me take cake So, down although, there. like, I'm. I'm anyway, I'm like, I went and bur bought bur a birthday cake for Rooney, because we're, we're quite drunk now, and anyway. Happy birthday to you. To happy the birthday to you. you. Happy you birthday You look like a gutter and Rooney. you piss like a rutter. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Cheers to Mocha. That's quite nice, actually. <laughs> oh, that's a really nice cake, eh? And we're dying and we're in blood. We're in blood. A big cotton, you know, is there, mate? When you fell off or a piss over there. It was, there was a big fucking twig that fucking goes in the eye. <laughs> well, because, it didn't get, didn't you know, like eye, mate. It's really you know, nose up, mate. You're pissing the blood. you got blood out of your hands. Look. He's a wallaby, isn't he? Yeah, he's a wallaby. Right, listen. If you go out in the woods, people. <laughs> Please be safe, right? Don't walk in the fucking <laughs> branches like <laughs> Mr. Fucking. Sussman. Sorry. Mr. Nobend. Well, that's cake's really, really nice, like. It is quite nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. A bit of custard, but it feels really nice. like. A bit of custard. Fe really it nice. feels like you stole it from a shop. This. I'm a bit disappointed in the, um, the sparklers I bought. Mm. It took us 20 minutes, night, night, 10 minutes to um, light one. That's why I didn't see a fellow and smash a face in. <laughs> um, it took us night, night 20 minutes to light one up. And then the others wouldn't light up, like, so I'm disappointed. But anyway. So basically. It's his birthday. <laughs> Fire's going well. Sometimes I'm good that I'm day. Is a thought. Came along. Ooh. I was happy. But this happy birthday to my mucker. Really. Thank you very much. Sorry for being an arsehole tonight, but I the shit are you? We're drinking brown ale now. We yeah. drank all the Jack Daniels. We drank all Stella. And now we're on the brown ale. Yeah. Right, well, good morning everybody. It's a little bit chilly. It's about nine o'clock. I've been up for uh, about an hour and a half, nearly two hours. Just been tidying up around camp because it was a bit of a party night last night. Um, Rooney got up and then he went back to bed. 
and uh, I'm just going to have my first cup of tea just waiting for this to boil which is nearly there now it's a uh, it's a it's a noisy little stove but I love it from fire maple brilliant little stove like but I uh, last night was a good night um, we had a lovely curry we had a birthday a cake we had a lot of Jack Daniels and we had a lot of brown ale <laughs> <laughs> uh, hence to say there isn't any alcohol left anymore well, that's my water done that'll be hot enough oh actually I've got my radio going turn that off but uh, yeah what a fantastic night last night it was good to be back out with Rooney and uh, yeah I think we're still up and about at 2 o'clock this morning that was a late night last night like but the fire burnt really well and um, I've just been cleaning it out checking checking around the the, um, the sides and all that making sure everything was nice and safe and nothing's been smouldering throughout the night poured all my dish water on it because I've just done all the dishes this morning Um just didn't get around to doing them last night because we just having such a laugh playing some brilliant music and just basically taking the mic out of each other but yeah first cup of tea in the morning now I'm not sure if Rooney's gonna want any food this morning I've got uh, sausage and bacon with some some sort of bread buns I don't know what they call them paninis so we'll see how it goes but yeah it's definitely chilly this morning there's a little bit of a mist in the air uh, throughout the woods this morning when I woke up and I need to wait let's put that tea back there I'll put it in my bin but yeah I'm not going to waffle on too much this morning all I'm going to say is I've had a really good night and my head's telling us I've had a good night and now because I've, I've got a bit of a hangover so plenty of fluids and a bit of scran and I'll be right as rain get packed up tidy up and uh, get on my, on my way home see you in a bit Right, Rooney's up and about, we've had a cup of each and we've just been sorting a few bits of kit out it's getting on now like it's 10 past 10 so I'm going to get some food on the go and this morning I've just got a, some unsmoked bacon from uh, Asda and some Asda's uh, extra special 12 classic pork chipolatos sausages uh, with a, a pinch of classic spices woohoo but anyway I'm just going to put some oil in. I'll probably do a time lapse on most of this cooking, or I might not even, you know, I don't know yet. <laughs> just waffling, as normal. Well, I'd like to um, burst out and burst in on the scene. Um, Let it talk loud, I'll next to the camera because this is loud, this. Yeah. Well, I'd like to talk to the viewers if there's any uh, barristers out there. <coughs> Um, <clears throat> last night, obviously, you know, Mr. Ludenlast needs uh, enough food for a small village. Well, obviously, it being you my... Your chair there, you know, they'll see you. Being my... Listen, don't interrupt. Sorry, <laughs> sir. Being my birthday celebration last night, things set off in uh, a good mood. But obviously, Mr. Ludenlast was getting very hungry. And he was getting quite threatening. So anyway, as the night progressed, we had a little bit dancing and a little bit of stuff. But um, yeah, just things was uh, getting a little bit heated as he drank nearly a full bottle of uh, Jack Daniels and brown ale. But once he started the brown ale, he actually set about us and took off me food. <laughs> and if you have a look, this is what happens if you mess with Mr. Lund Larson's food, yeah. you get a, a dig on the nose. <laughs> so, yeah, he assaulted us when I wasn't prepared for it, and it was all over a curry. But anyway, no, what really happened was, is um, we didn't get health and safety out last night to check what we in area. And um, with it being rather dark last night, um, Mr. Tree Stump said about is because I insulted the potato people. So now I have got a bloody news. 
but yes, be prepared when you go out in the woods, if you're going to drink a large, large amount of alcohol, be prepared for the consequences of it. Take care everybody, it's a dangerous world out there. Why do you waffle more than me? <laughs> Isn't he a waffle? He's a waffle, waffle, waffle. And anyway, I've got some nice thick slices of bacon in here, four of them. When he's going to get his pot out, so we can put the bacon in. Because I kind of cook sausages and bacon in this, I didn't think it's too little, this frying pan. I should have bought me a big frying pan, really. But I... You know what You mess with me food, Rooney. <laughs> and I slash your throat. <laughs> what? I just, just whatever to put it in. Be about this. Be four feet over. I tell you what, though, I do, I do believe that when you buy bacon and sausages and that from more like supermarkets, it's full of water, like. Mm. I can't believe after doing all this wild camping all these years and getting drunk in the woods that I'd be assaulted by a two inch stump sticking out the ground that would make us do a half super horror twist me thinking I was in the Olympics and then all of a sudden I got a 9.9 .9 out of a bunch of trees for me somersault through the air <laughs> Anyway, we're going to cook the bacon and the sausages um, it's not very entertaining so I'll just bring this back when it's all cooked and uh, we're, we're going to munch on it and then uh, we'll see what goes, happens from there because otherwise it's just going to be half an hour of us sitting waffling while we'll cook this <coughs> Alright Yeah Season a bit Well that's me cook the sausages and the bacon I've just put the bacon back in at the last moment just to get them a bit more heated Wah Woohoo Right, Rooney, I'm looking, more, I'm looking more. We've got, we've got some lovely paninis. How you going, mate? I'm looking more. Just a, just a bit of bread for you. Yeah. I'm looking more forward to this than I did my curry, actually. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh. Right, you can either use your fingers or you can use this. How many sausages do you want, mate? Half Excuse of them. me, fingers. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Half of them. How many did I put in? Six. Six. Hey, yeah, greedy, like. What did I put in bacon? Is it two know. bits each? One bit's just... You normally have more than me, I knew you, so... Oh, there you go. You can have the dagger ones, I'll have the ones that's all smashed oh, up. Oh, thank you. Do you want some ketchup, mate? Oh, I forgot about that, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. See, I look after him, you know. I think I'll look cooking, really. <laughs> he's, he's just pretend. Yeah, you yeah, are my sous chef. Sous chef. You're supposed to take these things home with you and um, implement them there. You know, like, that's a big word, implement. <laughs> implement, isn't it? God. This early in the morning. <laughs> What's going on with you? That must have been that bang in the face I gave you last night, mate. Oh no, it's a treat. Right, did it? <laughs> <laughs> bang in the face. <laughs> no, you gotta have. I'll show you these tree stumps and how fatal they are. Right, I need ketchup. But I, this is just a quick, uh, quick snack before dinner. But obviously, I'll be having dinner at home. I've got a couple of more sausages and bacon, then some a couple of more paninis, like. But uh, I'm just going to splatter mine down so I can fold it in. Put that on there. Lovely and jubbly. I know it's just a basic sausage and bacon sandwich, like, but you know how it is. When you're hungover in uh -huh. the woods, cold, it makes a lovely treat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jamie, you all about eat your heart out. Now, anyway, we're going to get this. Get tidied up, get packed up and uh, get ourselves on my way home. So the next time you see us, um, it like, might be a time lapse, I'm not really sure, but we'll be getting packed up in any way. Oz, we've both got things that we need to do at home. And uh, happy days. Get this down my neck. I've got a can of Coke on the go, so I'm not gonna have another cup of tea. And I'll see you later. All right, Rooney, that? Horrible. Mm. Put too much sauce on. <laughs> Do you have? No. I haven't. Have you seen the state of that face? <laughs> Show the stump that I tripped over <laughs> and hit the other one. So Rooney's come to the pay last night. He's tripped over this little stump and landed face on in that stump. 
Right, well, that's us all packed up and just about ready to go. And uh, yeah, I've had a fantastic night last night celebrating Rooney's birthday. It was a good laugh, what I can remember. And anyway, the food was tremendous. Again, a lovely uh, Chinese curry by Rooney. And the bottle of JD's was washed down well. <laughs> but aye, it was canny. But anyway, as you can see, I'm all packed. My burgers a lot lighter, but it still looks humongous. All right. Uh, cleaned out all the fire pit, readjusted it and everything, poured loads of water and bits and pieces on it. Got a few little bits of bread scattered around off the breakfast this morning. But uh, other than that, um, everything's nice and tidy and uh, squared away. So I, uh, from me, I'd just like to say thank you very much everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, it's been a, like, a cracking night like I said. And uh, I'm really enjoying the comments I'm getting at the moment. And welcome to all new subscribers. Go and check out some of the later, uh, earlier videos. And uh, I'm sure there's, there's hundreds there for you to watch. But anyway, that's enough waffle from me. Because we need to get going. And there's Mr. Rooney, birthday boy. <laughs> eh? Just remember, the woods is a great place to be. But make sure you do a risk assessment if you're going to uh, drink alcohol in the woods. And remember to use a torch before you walk anywhere, as a fine example of me didn't do last night. And the smallest tree stump in the world sent us also a tits. So, <laughs> also a tits. Ah, also, also a tit. Would. So basically, Sorry. yeah. So make sure you've got your first aid kit with you anyway as well. You back. <laughs> tit. <laughs>